there comes a time in a person's life when they must put down the movies and pick up a controller. This is that time. Hey everybody, it is Joshboy64 here, and welcome back to a brand new series I'm starting. If you know me from my past vlogs, I did one vlog about video games, and I the rest I did on movie reviews, and movie and a movie trailer review. But we're not going to talk about movies right now. I'm here premiering a new show called Gaming Geeks. And what we're going to do on Gaming Geeks is we are going to talk about video games. Whether that means we're talking about the industry, or we're going to be talking about a genre, or on some occasion, we'll even be reviewing a video game. But that's not for right now. For right now, we are going to talk about video game sexuality. Now, with all the stuff going on about uh, all the gay marriage equality shit that's going on, in, with the Supreme Court, I figure it's time to bring my own two cents in it. I support it all the way because, in my opinion, dealing with something as trivial as gay marriage, we're sending the country back a long way. In, in, in any case, when they bring up religion with the fact, I always counteract the point, well, priests fuck little boys. Not all, but most priests fuck little boys, so doesn't that make them themselves gay? But we're, um, I won't get into that. I'm, I'm not one to get political, but I am going to get slightly political in this because we're talking about video games. Now, let's think about this realistically. Have you ever seen, like, how often is sexuality treated or which sexuality is more than oftenly used in video games? If we're going to talk realistically, mostly our heroes are straight. I mean, look at something as simple as Grand Theft Auto. They mostly encourage heterosexual heterosexuality, what with the strip clubs and the hookers and everything like that. And Grand Theft Auto 4 recently, they show that uh, you can have relationships, as well as in San Andreas, you have relationships in the game. I'm using those them as an example though. Does that mean that all their games are does that mean that Rockstar themselves support heterosexuality and don't support uh, homosexuality at all? Fuck no. In fact, there is a point I don't know if you guys have played Bully before. Bully, it's a great game. There's actually something that Jack Thompson yeah, you know that douchebag asshole. <laughs> He actually uh, tried to get Bully banned, the same way he tried to get uh, all, of their, all of Rockstar's other games banned, because there's actually a glitch, actually it's not a glitch, it's a well-known thing, where there's actually one kid who's a prep, and if you give him flowers, he will kiss you. And in my opinion, that is not like Rockstar being evil. Ooh. It gives players a chance to experience something else. Because, I mean, let's face it. There are kids. I, I know a couple people my age who are possibly digging, experiencing bisexuality. And, you know, they want to be with somebody of the opposite sex. 
And I noticed that in most kids' games, they never do that. Even in most movies, they never show the possibility of kids at a young age who want to experiment with the same sex. Maybe the boy doesn't want a girl, maybe the boy wants a boy, or maybe the girl doesn't want a boy, the girl wants a girl. You know? These things do exist. And I'm, I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts that you probably have some kids in your high school in your whether in your high school or your college or your elementary school or your middle school that are experiencing these same feelings and it's nice that rockstar acknowledges that these individuals which means that people who are in the other part of the population in which they want to they're at a young age and they want to be with another person of the same gender you know what this is great this uh, this gives them the recognition, you know? But, of course, not all games are heavily heterosexual. Bioware is a good example of this. Bioware are the creators of Mass Effect and, uh, are the creators of Mass Effect and Dragon Age and Knights of the Old Republic. And, if you think about it, Bioware is gay-friendly. They give you the opportunity to be a female character, a female shepherd, voiced by Jennifer Hale. And, um, they give you an option to be with people of the same gender. And in Mass Effect 3, they put in an openly gay character. And, you know what? They make these optional. They don't force you to have gay sex. They give you the option, which, if you don't want to be with some blue bitch over here or what they call the perfect woman over here. Uh, I'm of course talking about Liara and Miranda. You can be with, you know, the other guys. You can actually choose. That is the point. Overall, with gay people being portrayed in video games, in my opinion, I feel there should be more. In fact, I know I brought up Call of Duty before, but I feel like if they mixed up video games and they wanted to make them realistic, they have to put the realism in there. Put in an openly gay character in Call of Duty and give him a personality and so that way when they do like the whole part where shit hits the fan and everything and then they show this character dying or this character has to step up to bat, you know, it's worthwhile and it helps invoke a dramatic response. Gay people shouldn't be restricted to movies. Although there aren't very many gay people in movies, but I feel there should be more in video games. And Rockstar put in an openly gay character in The Ballad of Gay Tony. The Ballad of Gay Tony, you know, you saw Tony and he had a club full of gay people and he had a club full of straight people. He ran them both. He had a boyfriend who gets killed, but they had a boyfriend. They, he had a boyfriend. He had, it was implied that they were, you know, but, you know, I loved, I loved Tony. He was one of the best characters. He was one of the best characters in any Grand Theft Auto game. It's like if you took Ken Rosenberg, took away his lawyer abilities, and made him gay, and made him a nightclub owner. He was basically a gay version of Ken... of Ken... Uh, Rosenberg, you know? And, you know, in the main character, he openly acknowledges this, and he has no problem working with a gay uh, boss. And it shows that, although he may not mind it, the world around him does. His friends constantly tease him for working with a gay boss. Anyway, gay people, in my opinion, shouldn't be brushed aside or ignored. They deserve to be heard. They deserve to be seen. In fact, they deserve to be played. I mean that in a video, in a video game way, not as a bad way. Like... With Bioware, they got the right track down. They can do. They can write gay. Pe they can write gay people very well. And I feel like more games should touch upon homosexuality. 
Although, I'm not saying that, you know, like, they're gonna make Mario gay or anything like that. Or they're gonna have a, Di a Daisy and Peach relationship thing going. But, you know, to have them slowly pop up everywhere to the point where it's alright. I don't mind gay people. In fact, I mo most of the characters I see in video games that are gay, I usually like them. Does that mean that I'm gay? No, I'm just saying I prefer gay characters. Like, gay Tony. And with Rockstar doing their little thing, their little hidden thing in uh, Bully, and with Bioware doing their thing in uh, Mass Effect, and uh, Dragon Age, it shows that there are companies that aren't afraid to go out outside of their comfort zone. It shows that, are, that aren't afraid to go outside of most people's comfort zones. And I understand that there are people who play shooter games like Call of Duty and uh, Crisis and Battlefield. How if they how if they make a campaign and they put in an openly gay character, they will be up in arms saying that's not America. That's not American way. When they really forget that there are a lot of gay people in the military. That's why they have the don't ask, don't tell thing. And I feel that's wrong. If people are in the military and they're gay, they should, they, they're allowed to open up. That wouldn't change my opinion of somebody. I'd be shocked, but, you know, I'd be like, alright. Bottom line, gay people, if you're out there and you're watching this video, I want you to know that there are people who actually do want you to get married. We want that law to pass, but at the same time, we also care about how you're portrayed in, mov in movies and other media. You are not always the stereotypical, hey girl, shit from uh, sitcoms and movies. You're complex people just like us. And that's why I'm making this video, so that way you're heard all around the world. I'm Josh Boy 64 here of Gaming Geeks saying game on. See you next time when we talk about children and gaming.